Sentimental hogwash. Send for our mysterious Kiss Salicious Love Potion and find love, love, love. Kiss Salicious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Hello? I'd like to order a bottle of passion. I, I, potion. Potion. Oh, I'm getting tingly just thinking about it. Woohoo! It's here! No. <laughs> Kissalicious love potion? This is some powerful stuff. Morning, Miss Meanie. What are you doing on my mailbox, then? Who's the cutest little godly wadly tusk puppy around? <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't move a muscle, Cupcake. I'm off to prepare our love nest. <laughs> kiss a licious, kiss a lot. Do you love me, do you not? Oh, yeah, kiss a lot. Do you love me, do you not? Woodpecker. <laughs> She's going gaga. Cuckoo, buggy for me. You must help me. She's your landlady. Let's see. I must help Wally. I must help Wally not. Help Wally. Help Wally not. Oops, sorry, Wally. Please, I give you anything. Just find a way to get her not to like me. Anything? Say, uh, free eats for a month, Wally? Ah, uh, you gaga cuckoo buggy, you bankrupt me. Yo ho! Oh, Wally! Which sounds the most romantic? Ms. Meanie Walrus? Mrs. Wally Walrus? Or my fave, Mr. Wally Meanie? <laughs> okay, okay, free meals for a month, Woodpecker. <laughs> ah, she's just gonna think I'm booing her, Woodpecker. Do exactly as I say, and Meanie's love meter will go kaput in record time. How do I look, my cheesy enchilada? <laughs> Boop! She's going to smooch me to death. Relax. Just say what I tell you. Whoa! Okay, now turn around and say, your dress reminds me of... Uh, the, uh, your dress reminds me of... A bad excuse for a circus tent. A bad excuse for a circus tent. Oh, Wally, you're so right about this dress. In it, I'm filled with laughter, fun, and frolic, just like a circus tent, my little love clown. <laughs> Come here. This is not working, Woodpecker. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling. Swedish boy, you're as cuddly as a meatball, and my heart is filled with joy. She's a hard day's work, but I'm about to put in some overtime. Give it to her. Uh, e I got you this, Miss Meanie. Oh, Wally, a gift for moi. Now to collect my payoff. Meatballs, here I come. Oh, I've always wanted a red herring coat. I bet everybody's doing dead fish in Paris this year. I simply love it. Yoinky doinky. Uh... Not so fast, biscuit beak. <laughs> She's more in love with me than ever. What does that tell you? Uh, there's no accounting for taste? No! It means your plan isn't working. Ah, uh, don't get your shorts in a bunch, Wally. Drastic women call for drastic measures. Walrus, you want a boogie? Woodpack! <laughs> I'm all over it, Wally. Why the... You 
music unchained, Wally. Kiss a licious kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Wait, the love potion. Now they can both go gaga for each other. Hi, Wally. Drink this. What's happening? Good for four hours only. Uh oh, Minis must be wearing off. Huh? Ooh, my little fjord dancer, come to Volley. Help! What am I doing here? And what's that smell? Ick! It's me! <laughs> what the? Help me! Help me! Oh, my spicy meatball! Help! Woodpecker, you got to do something! Oh, uh, I'll be glad to find a way to take him off your hands, Ms. Meany. Uh, what's it worth to you? Free rent for a month? Six months? A year? Oh, How about installing a hot tub in my treehouse? Uh, a basketball hoop on my tree. What do you say? What do you say? Anything, Woodpecker! Anything! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else, you freeloader! If I ever see you again, I don't know what I'll do! <laughs> that does it! I gotta find me a new dope I can con! Aha! Perfect. <laughs> when the sucker who owns this heap starts it up, I'll claim bodily injury and sue him for all his wife. <laughs> when you're good, you're me. <laughs> What are you trying to do to me, Woodpecker? Oh, you fractured my cup tubular. Oh, and my entire upper thorax is numb. What were you doing under my hood? I was adjusting your manifold intake. There are problems with it on this model. And this is how I get repaid for my good deed. Oh, the agony. Oh, the pain. I smell a lawsuit. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Lawsuit? And I'll take you for everything you've got. Now, now calm down. I'm sorry. You can come to my house and get cleaned up. I'll make it up to you. Thanks, sucker. Oh. I mean, pal. Ah, uh, Mr. Buzzard, sir, you've been in there for two days. I'd like to get in my bathroom sometime. Have this oh. towel clean. Eesh. I put on the only thing I could find while my pants dry. My suit! Now you listen here, bub. I've taken care of you, and you look just fine to me now. It's time to hit the bricks. <gasps> oh, Woodpecker, I'm barely over my bodily trauma, and now you're causing me all this emotional turmoil. <laughs> Which is only going to cost you more in the lawsuit. No, no, uh, forget I said anything. All right, then, it's settled. I'm going to have to stay a while longer. Okay, but there's new rules. Stay out of my clothes, and whatever you eat, you replace. Sure. You're the boss. <laughs> I've got a golf game.
looks good enough to eat. Especially to a stupid woodpecker. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Man, that's pretty. Oh boy, there's nothing like steak and cake. Hey! <gasps> Looks moist and chewy. <laughs> that does it! Hey, get out here! We need to talk! I'm on the phone here! And I gotta finish my pedicure. I'm not standing out here all night! Could've fooled me! This isn't your house, you know! But it's my bathroom! Get out of there now! I have needs! I gotta go, Olaf. Call me back later. Collect. Who's so important in Denmark you have to talk to them all night long? Eh, no one special. I just love the sound of the Danish language. <laughs> ah! My bathroom! Completely destroyed! Yeah, you better get that toilet fixed. I'm having a party tonight. You can't make me leave. I got my rights. <laughs> if you hit me, you'll go to jail for cruelty to animals. What? Forget the lawsuit. We're talking life in prison. I'm an endangered species, you know. Jail? <laughs> You're no good, no paying deadbeat! Hiya, buddy. Huh. That's how I deal with deadbeat tenants like you! Then have I got a tenant for you. <sighs> now to get back to my bath. Oh, allow me. I'll just take you back to your tub and run you some fresh, hot water. Here, give your Danish friend a call. I will. Bye-bye. First and got leaving, Vincent. <laughs> Come in. Well, Buzz, I'm off to play on the pro tour. I've sold the house. <gasps> and the new landlady says she knows you. You remember Ms. Meany, don't ya? No, not her. Please! No! No! Could you possibly make any more noise? Sure, that's a fit. <laughs> I'm 
Special delivery for Miss Meanie. I'll be a turnip. An invitation to my high school reunion. Oh, I wonder if Biff Buff will be there. I'll show that no good so and so. I've done just fine after our breakup, but I gotta go with a date who'll make him jealous with a capital J. Eh, eh. Whoa! According to your lease, Section 73, Article 12, said woodpecker must accompany me, said landlady, to any and all social outings as my date, if I show request, or else said woodpecker, you will be evicted. Eh, eh. You don't said. But don't get any romantic notions, cuddle buns. This is strictly a platonic business deal. Got it? Our target is my old flame, Biff Buff. When he sees how much fun I still am on a date, after all these years, he'll eat his jaw card out for dumping me back in high school. Now look, debonair, Woodpecker. You and me are gonna be the dream date of this reunion. Nightmare date's more like it. It's Meanie and Date. That's spelled D-A-T-E. Ha! Well, what do you know? Maybe this party won't be such a drag after all. <laughs> Meanie! Catholic is Meanie, you okay? I'll go to the gym and get you something to drink. Be back soon. Hold on, Woodpecker. You're here to make Biff jealous, so you don't go anywhere without me by your side. Got it? Uh, right. So how about we go to the gym together for some fun? You know, to make Biff jealous? You like games? Well, let's go play Guess My Old Walker combination. Well! Go, go ahead, Woodpecker. Try again! Try again! No one ever guesses on the first 300 tries! Oh, wait till Biff sees me here! Oh. Why, you little dickens! Didn't I tell you this was fun? Ah, uh, I can hardly stand it. Oh, heavens! It's jammed, Meanie! I'll have to go get help! Don't you dare! Yeah! Leave me alone! I was president of the judo club. Don't you know? Woodpecker, don't poop out on my party. Ah! It's him! It's Biff! Biff always wore a checkered sports coat. What brat. That boy always could get away from me. Well, let's find him so I can ask him his secret. <gasps> hey, Meanie, let's page Mr. Wright. Biff buff to the art room. Biff buff to the art room. Now! Oh, good thinking, Woodpecker. Keep it up and I may even give you a rent reduction. This Woodpecker's date night is just about over. <laughs> huh? I'll get someone down in the gym uh, to help. <laughs> Don't move a muscle till I return. Fun and games, here I come. trying to be the centerpiece of attention, huh, Meanie? <laughs> <laughs> She's the centerpiece, and so's her little friend. <laughs> I 
say, chaps, laugh if you must, but Mimi here is the centerpiece of my very existence. <gasps> my castle would not be such without Milady there to watch over it and see that all things run as they must. Wait, you two live in a castle? <laughs> oh, 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 what pecker? Me castle, a so castle. I am Lord Crinkle. Perhaps you've heard of me? And I will not stand to have the likes of you besmirching my Mimi's character with your cheap laughter. <laughs> Choose your weapon. Uh, we didn't know, Lord Crinkle. We shall duel to the finish for my fair Mimi's honor. Oh. Uh, we were just kidding you, Lordship. <laughs> oh, you were gallant! He bought it hook, line, and woodpecker, Woody! Can we go have some fun now, Miss Meanie? You bet! We're gonna go to the Industrial Film Festival together, the Ice Cube exhibit on Sunday. Oh, I know this great little dim sum bingo parlor. Oh, I tell you, the fun is just <laughs> <because>. <laughs> My good little woodland creatures, store plenty of food. Mother Nature says it's going to be a long winter. Woody, you should be flying south for the winter. What are you talking, winter? It's 80 degrees. But there's a cold snap coming. Yeah. So wake me when it's winter. Wakey, wakey! Now fly south like you're supposed to! Oh, I really do gotta head south. And flying's way too tiring. <laughs> but riding a train's more like it. <laughs> choo choo! Ooh, so good to have you aboard, Mr. and Mrs. Stinkorich. <laughs> I got 20 bucks for a ticket stub, bub. And there's a nickel tip in it for you if I get a window seat. Oh, yoy. A nickel. Now I can retire and buy those orthopedic tusks for my poor, ailing grandmama. Twenty bucks is not enough to ride this train, Woodpecker. How's about if I ride coach? No. How's about if I ride outside on the roof? This is Ultra Lux Rail. You want our economy class train. Out of luck rail. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. So, he wants to play it like that, does he? Fine by me. How much just to send my bag? Cargo is... What do you know? Twenty bucks. <laughs> hmm. I show this freeloader a thing or tree or fur. <laughs> All of yours! for my lunch. Uh, 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 you own the train, Mr. Lux. Yeah, you could eat any time you like. Yeah, you bet. Uh, today's special is roast pig. Woodpecker! Uh. Guess who? Tea time! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
Will there be anything else, Lord Crinkle? Yes. You expect me to drink this swill? Tut, tut, tut. I'm reporting this entire train to the Board of Health. No! Woodpecker! No, no. Uh, hold on, big fella. Say, isn't that the Queen? The Queen. Oof! <laughs> What have you done? Bad! Oh, bad, bad porter. Oh, fjord. <laughs> porter, get off of me. They're doomed. If you won't do something, I will. I saved you, Mr. Lux. I saved you. Nonsense! Woody Woodpecker here saved my train, and I'm awarding him a lifetime pass to ride free every winter when it's time for him to head south. No! <laughs> Meanwhile, you're going to work on Outer Luck Rail. Bye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Billy Barber Shop. Tony Fig A Ru Figaro Prop. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. What's this? Need a haircut? Come in. We'll give you a good trimming. Yeah. And I'll bet he ain't kidding, either. The pip dip with a drip clip. Hmm. The rinky dink with a stinky kink. That's what he thinks. Oh, well, maybe I can cut my own hair. I cut my own teeth. Now, let's see. Where do I begin? Looks like Harmonica Lake. What do you have, chum? Huh? We want um quick shampoo. Okay, turkey head. Bye. 
for to give me the whole works, Figaro. Okie dokie. Welcome to SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com. Are you looking for that special snuggle bun to cuddle up to and keep you warm on cold Arctic nights? Then let me and my love computer find the perfect match for you. We have hundreds of eligible eager members. And 
my 100% patented compatibility program uh, inside this here love computer is the only surefire way to find the perfect someone for you. <laughs> Yeah. This is what we in the computer business call a systems crash. Now you listen here, you little high-tech glitch. I feel a love bump coming for sure. I get your point. But I am the professional matchmaker and computer programmer hereabouts. Me and my love computer will determine who is right for you, little fella. Once you pay your $500 membership fee. Hmm. I guess it's true what they say. Love waits for no man. Now, now, little fella. She may not be your perfect match. And you can't let your heart go getting involved in, well, matters of the heart. A cyber high to you, Chilly Lily. Trust me. My love computer is working night and day to select the perfect match for you. But don't you worry your little heart, miss. Smedley, the love doctor, will not rest until he has found your soulmate. <laughs> this is Smedley's Lonely Hearts Club.com, logging off. And now it's time for you to take Smedley's patented compatibility test. Yup, me and my love computer had no trouble selecting the ideal match for you, little feller. According to my profile, she is warm to cuddle with, has a big heart, and a hearty appetite. Who is it? It's the mechanic of love from SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com, ma'am. Here with a dream date that is sure to create fireworks of plenty. Meet a more. <laughs> If you love something, let it go. And if it comes back and blows up in your face, it's a penguin, all right. <laughs> As president of this here cyber match establishment, I will not rest until the perfect match has been matched. Me and my love computer have selected a new date for you, penguin. She loves deep sea diving, haute couture fashions, and is not afraid to express her deep ocean emotions. La, 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 la. Oh, come here, you adorable penguin, you. Come to Mama. <laughs> Yeah, nothing like a satisfied love connection. Hey, what are you? Oh, oh that, my little love muffin. You and your lousy dating service. Love is like a rose, mostly thorny and full of owls. And that was definitely an owl. That does it. I've had enough of these two incompatibles trying to thwart me and my all-knowing love computer. For your own good, I'm going to deprogram your internal love computer. There are hundreds of applicants you can choose from, and my compatibility computer says she is not the one for you. Your resistance is wearing down. Select the perfect date and Smedley the love mechanic will hook you up. Monitor 1, 7, 
22, 9, 4. Hold on one puppy loving minute. Huh? Heartbreaker, you! Come back here, you penguin-sized Romeo and Juliet! Oh, now there's the kind of man who can comb the hair on my back any day! The love doctor's in, and I want the first appointment! Well, I guess it's true what my mama always said after all. Don't even try to fight love, cause then it'll beat you every time. Now, Winnie, let's hear your story first. <sighs> well, Your Honor, I wanted to buy a nice little red car, so I went to this buzzard's used car lot and. Knock, knock, knock. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me! <laughs> I'd, um,. Like to buy a car, sir? <gasps> a customer? Why didn't you say so? What kind of car are you looking for? We got sports cars, sedans, and luxury cars. We got cars that'll take you from point A to point B. Uh, I have a question. I don't see any cars. Are you pulling my leg? <gasps> oh my gosh! There it is! What can I say? It's you, it's you, it's you! What do you think? Isn't she a beauty? She's all yours. Just sign right here. Well, I was kind of hoping for a car with wheels. Wheels? What do you want wheels for? Well, most cars I've seen have wheels. <whistles> Look at the car. What do you see? It has no wheels! Go get wheels. There you go. Drive it right off the lot. I'd like to, but it doesn't have a steering wheel. Again! What an oversight on his part. Get the lady a steering wheel! There you go. Practical, yet playful. It doesn't look very safe. You hoid the lady. Make it safe. Get a safety belt. <laughs> now you have safety belts. Well, as long as we're on the subject, there's a few other things we'll need. Like seats, transmission, a dashboard, windshield wipers, fenders, bumpers, turn signals, door handles, heater, defroster, ice cube maker, self-cleaning, glove compartment. Well, last I heard, a car needed an engine to run. Hop in. Let's take it for a test drive. Wind in your hair, sun on your backside. Oh, it doesn't get any better than this. Faster, you toll brick. Hey, you want to give it a whirl? With sugar and spice and everything nice. Objection, Your Honor. We're dying here, Oinka. I'll stall him. You go get us a nice red car. We'll pass it off as the one we were trying to sell her. If it uh, pleases the court, let me tell you what really happened. There I was, doing one of my daily good deeds. 
There you are, madam. Have a nice day. Excuse me. I'd like to buy a car. Why, this is our finest automotive deal, ma'am. A mere ten thousand dollars. <gasps> but it'll practically pay for itself. <laughs> then when it makes the last payment, I'll come pick it up. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Whatever you can't afford, I'll gladly pay for. No questions or interest added. I want a red Ford! <laughs> I'm determined to get you in a car. Heck, I'll give you one if I have to. I just want to make you happy. Let's take it for a spin! Hold on! Wait! Yeah! Far be it for me to criticize but aren't we driving a bit fast? <laughs> 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 the court. I give you Exhibit A. <gasps> the fine red car I practically tried to give away to the woodpecker. It's a beauty, all right, Mr. Buzzard. Looks like this case is... Wait, Your Honor, no! You're out of order, Winnie. This is wrong. That buzzard is more crooked than a bad boxer's nose. She's trying to hoodwink you, Judge. Oh, I am, am I? Yes, you am. Well, speaking of hoods, what kind of car do you drive, ma'am? And in fact, doesn't your license plate read, I'm the judge? <gasps> oh, she's right. And isn't your car blue, Your Honor, just like this <gasps> one? <laughs> this is my car. No, wait. I find for the plaintiff, Winnie the Woodpecker. Take this buzzard away. No, no! This is appalling. I'm appealing. <laughs> and for cracking Buzz Buzzard's auto theft ring, here's your reward money. Hmm. Your Honor, is your car for sale? Why, yes. Well, here you go, then. Sold. Case closed. <laughs> Everyone knows, and in case you have forgotten, here's the way the story goes. Five, six, seven, eight, school bells ringing, don't be late. Don't forget your pens and papers, don't be cutting through and paper. Now it's time to wash your ears, wash your ears, wash your ears. Now it's time to dry your ears so early in the morning. Don't be late, don't play hooky.
Carol.